so yeah, I'm Tom Barnes, uh, fourth generation, maybe even fifth, not really sure, um, of Baston Timber, formerly as Barnes Branch. Um, and I'm going to um, give a presentation, not so much about projects, but just about the general case for using British Timber. I'm going to try and make that case for you. So I'm going to talk about three things. I'm going to talk about why I think we collectively, as specifiers, architects, timber framers, growers, I think why we should choose British wood. We've already um, heard from Dougal about how some very big organisations have agreed to, um, to make that choice where they can. You know, we are realistic that um, British timber can't be used for everything, and there isn't volume to be used for everything, but where we can, to try and make that choice. I'm going to talk about why we should do that. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the specifying of British wood from our perspective. I'm certainly not telling the architects in the room um, how to suck eggs, but just some things that I think would help to get more British timber used, and some of the reasons why it isn't. Actually, I was quite surprised to find out that 43% of all the wood products used in this country, and there's a lot, is actually grown here. So it's, it's not all a bad story. However, a big proportion of that is pine and spruce and NDF. Okay. Only 6% of the hardwoods that we use in this country are actually grown here, which is a pretty miserable number, really. You know, with the British timber, the story that has come from these nice woodlands that we all like to walk through, and then it's gone through facility like this, and it's gone through skilled hands like that, and you get the products out the end. I and mean, that's just something you can really feel good about. You know, we've heard about these customers that just fall in love with what's made for them. Now, I think we could be better with the British timber, and I say we only have me and us, about marketing the beauty of that, and maybe helping people to, to understand not only that this is FSC wood, but this is, this is wood that's come from Palace Castle Estate, and it's, you know, it's gone down this chain, it all increases the viability of that story. And I think people, you know, people are connecting the woodlands. Yeah, we, we heard was all came from was, was the outcry when the government decided they were going to sell the woodlands. People love their woodlands. And I think people are also understanding that, that chopping a tree down and using it and protecting the woodland, not, uh, basing that, they are one of the same thing. If you don't use the product from the woodland, there's no, that has no value and it will get used for something else or neglected. So actually using the wood, protecting the forest are the same thing. And I would say don't be, don't be British about asking for British. So I think we are you know, we're quite reserved and we don't like to be too patriotic. It's not very polite. Um, but I would say, you know, if you want British oak or you want British chestnut, then ask for it. And as we mentioned before, the Grand Britain logo will, will allow you, and if you have asked for it, it will allow you to find out and determine whether you've actually got it. Uh, and, and, you know, if in doubt, ask. I mean, we want to help. It's, it's effectively how we sell wood. So we want to help you to specify the right product, so please ask. Um, I will now shamelessly plug our new website, which we launched a couple of weeks ago, which is jam-packed full of information. So I'd urge you to go and have a look there. Um, uh, put, you know, every product has got a whole host of information under it. We do have commercial quantities of timber in this country, hardwoods as well as softwoods. And collectively, and, and you know, everyone that's has got involved in growing Britain understands this. We, you know, we do have a, a chance now to breathe some life back into the woodland economy. If we don't, we will probably lose it forever. Because already we've lost a lot of skills, we've lost a lot of infrastructure, um, you know, sawmills to cut the stuff. So unless we reverse the cycle now, we probably will have spelled the end for our, our vital, vital mixed for the woodlands. So I'd say get behind growing Britain. It's a great initiative, it's, it's just all positive. We know there's all sorts of problems in the trade, we've got diseases, we've got all sorts of issues, health and safety, but this is all good. This is all just about saying, okay, we know the situation we're in, what can we do that's positive? And collectively, you know, we, can, we can be part of the solution at every point in this supply chain.